Hello everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to talk about why you should color grade and what the point of color grading is in your video editing and video projects. So I get a lot of questions to go more in depth about color grading as a topic, you guys seem interested. And although I've done a bunch of tutorials on how to actually do it and how to use all these tools, I thought this would be a good chance for me to lay the foundation on why you should even do these and what the goal of it is. So I've got a couple of random clips that open on my timeline just to use for example. And the Lumetri color window is where we're going to be focusing for all of the different color grading tools. If you don't see this window, it was added, I think, after CS6. So if you're on the latest version, you should have it. You can update and you'll get it. Or you might have some of the old legacy color adjustments in the effects panel which is why now if you're wondering there's a folder called obsolete with all of those effects because they're in this folder now so although i usually always work in the all panels workspace it's how i like to work one thing you might not know is that adobe gives you these kind of preset workspace templates to work and switch through such as assembly editing and even color where they bring the windows and panels that are most relevant to that section of the editing workflow to the forefront. So you can always open any window individually by just going to the window panel and checking or unchecking it. But in the color workspace, we have our Lumetri scopes, our timeline, and then basically the Lumetri color panel alone on the right hand side. So although this may look confusing at first glance, all these charts and graphs, these are basically just four different visual representations of the color going on in the actual clip that you see in the preview window. But still, why color grade? And I think in order to demonstrate this point, I will open up one of these big color wheels so we can see it. And the quick answer is that color is related to mood to humans. I don't know all the scientific research behind this, but you can agree that when you see something very blue, it's kind of cooler, it's damper. Maybe it looks cold, maybe it looks sad. I don't know, but when you see something warm and yellow, it looks warmer, it looks brighter, it maybe feels happier. These are all well-studied things and each color carries with it its own connotation. I don't know how much I believe in certain ones, like they say red is supposed to be powerful and things like purple being royalty or a regal color. There's a different shade, tone, and tint to all of these colors in the color wheel. And it is true that they can all help in invoking a certain mood or suggesting a certain mood for the viewer. And if we put that together with what we're trying to do when it comes to video editing, then you can see that Perhaps we want this to be a sad scene, so or perhaps we want the entire movie to feel kind of gloomy, then that's why we might apply a more blue tone to the overall feel of the image. Now, I'm just pulling one line of the curve here, but color grading goes a lot, lot more in depth and fine tuned than that because you have all these different tools. So depending on the goal of your project, Color correcting can just be another element along with the music, the original lighting and cinematography, and all the other pieces of the editing that can help you tell your story and suggest the right mood and emotion that you want your viewer to feel as you take them along the viewing journey. Also, certain colors can just provide nice contrast to each other, be complementary, and just simply visually appealing. For example, blue and orange or teal and orange next to each other provides a nice balance. So you don't always have to be cooking your image and just trying to put all crazy different colors. Just try to think of what makes sense, what looks visually appealing, and what just works subtly and nicely together with your clips. I would definitely recommend you look more into color theory, maybe check it out on Wikipedia, all the different articles. Think about how you see certain colors and how they make you feel, and maybe watch some different films and take note of the different color that's going on and why they might have chose that. So if you wanna learn more about all these actual tools technically and what every little slider and feature does, I have a tutorial on all the color correction tools. 
which are how to fix basic things like exposure, white balance, contrast, and I have a tutorial on color grading tools, which are where you can put all the creative color on there, tints, tones, shadows, fades, and even these preset color LUTs, which are lookup tables, files that add a preset color in there for you. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on below. Check out the playlist and those further videos if you want to dig into more and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. If you want to stay connected or reach out to me, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Justin Odisho. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.